Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I just got back from a shopping trip to the Dollar Tree and I wanted to show you how simple it is to make a complete first aid kit with the supplies you can find at the Dollar Tree. Start with a supply of bandages, gauze, and tape. There's a wide assortment at the Dollar Tree. Many times you can even find the Cured name brand. Products designed for sensitive skin that are ouchless and gentle. If you can find flexible fabric band-aids, always go for the fabric over the plastic. They adhere better, stay on longer, and protect your skin better. Next, get a good supply of cleansers, sanitizers, and ointments. A good place to start is a bottle of hydrogen peroxide and a bottle of rubbing alcohol. Choose some hand sanitizer. You can get a large bottle and even some small bottles in case you want to put them around in handy first aid packs that are to go. You can pack up a small bottle along with some band-aids and some other items to go in your pool bag, in your car, or your bug out bag. The ointments and creams my family commonly uses are petroleum jelly, which is Vaseline, triple antibiotic cream, which is like Neosporin, hydrocortisone cream, and muscle rub. The Dollar Tree has small containers and you could put small portions of your ointments and alcohol, things like that, into the small containers to go into your travel or to go first aid kit. Get a supply of cotton balls and try some cotton rounds. Sometimes a cotton ball will leave fibers and stick to a wound where a cotton round will clean it more gently. Get some cotton swabs and some wet wipes so you can clean up any dirt or spills. Make sure you always have sunscreen if you're heading out for the day. Aloe vera is great for a sunburn and for any other kind of burns as well. Look for the Dentec dental first aid kit that can help repair loose fillings and loose caps. Get a cold compress. It's a single use item. Squeeze it to pop the inner bag and the contents will mix together and make a cold compress. Read the directions on the package. Hand warmers are a great thing to have in a first aid kit because many times when people are hurt, they might go into shock and they could actually become cold. Or if you're out on a cold weather day, this can help avoid some of the effects of hypothermia. Coughing is a problem for my family, so I always like to stock up on the cough medicine when I visit the Dollar Tree. Find the medicines that your family uses and stockpile them in your first aid as well. Look around and think creatively. You'll be able to find small items like tweezers, scissors, nail clippers, and even a thermometer. Ladies, make sure you always have a supply. Sometimes you can find a small little first aid kit at the Dollar Tree. It includes a selection of bandages and a little bit of ointment. There are lots of different containers to store and organize your first aid supplies. You can look around the Dollar Tree and maybe find a box or container that will help you organize your first aid supplies. Or look around your house. Maybe you'll find things that you already own that will work for you. Don't take first aid for granted. Stockpile basic supplies the next time you go to the Dollar Tree. You'll find that they'll come in extremely handy in lots of emergency situations. Learn more at alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.